Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and it's another day so we have another mod. And uh, it's not birds, I know these two weeks is mostly birds, but we have a little filler over here. Uh, and it is the black and Ruf rufous elephant shrew. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but it's so cute. It kind of looks like a numbat a bit, um, or something like that, um, or some kind of mouse. Um, we have some mouses, or uh, field mouse, I think it's called in Danish. The ones, uh, sorry, in English. Uh, the one with the really pointy nose and it kind of reminds me of that so again i'm um, animal i really don't know anything about so let's hit the soapedia it is a least concerned animal and there are 2700 left in the wild oh, it's so cute it looks kind of spotted like someone it's been fighting and lost some fur uh, that might be on purpose uh, again we don't know this animal but it's cute it's so cute it lives in tanzania and kenya uh, in africa and they live in the tropical and grassland biomes one of them needs 50 square meters of land and an extra needs 10 extra square meters a baby need five extra square meters so this is one of the animals if you just have a tiny spot in your soup but you don't know what to do it with it and this uh, screw could be a possibility you need a great two fence and it need to be <laughs> sorry for four point thirteen feet it's over a meter sorry i just can't I just can't see how anything this small need anything bigger than half a meter or a single feet maybe. Um, <laughs> it's just the thing I think. <laughs> um, may maybe it's just a really really good climber and it can climb on climb proof roof. We don't know. Uh, group size uh, only up to two. That would be one male, one female or two of each. They are territorial, which makes sense if they don't like to live around others. And they are monogamous. Again, makes sense if you only supposed to have one of each. Uh, they are neutral about humans and humans can enter the habitat. They can grow up to one feet long. That must be with the tail. Just That's just my hypothesis. Uh, and they can be... Uh, and they can grow up to four years old and weigh 27 ounce okay sorry I just checked I'm not used to cal calculating in ounce but 27 sorry 21 ounce that would be around 595 grams so a bit above half a kilo they reach sexual maturity as a half uh, or six months uh, again uh, 0 0.5 years that half a year so that would be six months and they can reproduce until they die they will give one or two offspring every four months uh, every five months and they are pregnant for four months uh, this should be very easy to reproduce in captivity I will say I did wait a bit before they actually started doing something uh, but maybe after this now they know each other and so maybe now it speeds up um boom, boom. interspecies enrichment the artwork and the mere cat which actually makes sense when we go to their enrichments because their food enrichments is this one which i think the mere cat also use i'm just i'm not sure it's, i honestly very long time since I bought for the meerkats so they have these and uh, what's it no sorry a pyramid mount 
Then we got this forest box enrichment and then we have the slow feeder. What I actually found fun is when we go to the other enrichments, this one is also this kind of arrangement. I can just show you in here. Um, here you can see forest box feeder uh, as habitat enrichment. So maybe it doubles as both. Then we have the two trees. I don't know what they're going to do about them, but they do like them. Herbs and marker, the rubbing pad, but only this one, not the one with the tree stumps. It needs to be this one. And then we have the three balls here. Ta-da! And it is so cute. Now this is the baby. And this is the baby. Actually, is there a color difference? That seems like this one is more red than this one. Me, female, female, female. Okay, so it's nothing to do with the uh, gender. I try to tell you when I can see a difference in genders, but it can be quite difficult. If you just stop the time before, okay, you're more red now, so it might have something to do with the light. Um, what was I saying? I do try to tell you when there's a difference between females and males in the game, um, but sometimes it's small detail, so I'm not sure I notice it every time. But this is so cute. <laughs> um, now it would shock me to know this is a fierce animal uh, that does something completely disgusting or something like that. But it looks so cute with these little, little, little nose here. Let's go out here. Okay. It kind of looked weird from this angle, like it squished in together. <laughs> Again, might be the animal, might not be the mud. Oh, the camera thingy doesn't work. There. The eye look good. It's completely black, but it is blank. Uh, you will be shocked about how many muds actually had mud eyes. And it just seems weird. There are a few animals that have reasons for their eyes to appear mud. But normal eyes are blank you can just look in your own eyes or someone else's eyes they will be blank um not watery blank but normal blank but look at the texture again it looks like it might be fighting and lost some tuft of hair some places uh not that weird at all <laughs> Sorry, it's difficult with these small animals. You need to go really close to get a good view. But when you go too close, it disappears. So, the claws are actually really good. This one back here actually... Actually makes me a bit confused because that's not a mousy thing to do at all. And the tail appears to be hairless. Um, the structure in the hair is actually really, really good. Wow. It's beautiful. I, hmm, I just wanted to see here. No, it doesn't say if it's a rodent or anything like that. It's just... I kind of picture it to be, but then again, it eats termites. But if you ask a rat, it will e eat anything. So, wouldn't be the weirdest thing. Uh, but let's see it move. Again, we need to zoom in to see this. And the snout disappeared. I do like to know which rig this is actually made on because it can't be the meerkats because then it would stand up. Um, we do have a lot of issues with the smaller animals or, or the smaller mutts. 
uh, mainly about the swimming and this does swim so hopefully it will go for a swim in a minute uh, so we can see that oh it blinks with the eyes it does look heavy the way it moves but again we don't know if that's the mud or the animal and if you see anything back here you like it's already been uploaded so you can just go and look in my animal mods uh, playlist and they will all be there are you going for a swim now it appears like it or else you're just thirsty Yeah, there is kind of some pig-like um, movement back here. This very heavy way of walking is very pig-like. But it doesn't appear that you're going for a swim. So instead, let's go and look at a baby. Or It appears you are right here. No, it's an adult male. Doesn't it look smaller? What do, do we have here? That's a juvenile down here. Yeah, now you can see the swimming thing. Uh, it dives, but it doesn't seem like it's supposed to dive. Um, now it's closer to the water when it gets further down. You can see the issue here. It looks like it's supposed to swim up here, uh, but it just doesn't. It's... Uh, place too low in the water and that's a problem we see with a lot of animal where the rig th uh, that the mud is made on actually made the computer think it's taller than it is so maybe the computer does think it is up here um, but clearly it's not so if you want to see this swim probably it won't be a mud for you but a lot of mods won't be for you then because a lot of mods have this issue. Um, you can just see with the flamingo prop pack, sorry, the flamingo pack, some of them works perfectly and some of them just dive instead of swimming. And it's a personal choice if that is an issue or not. But let's see the baby here. Yeah, now you're with, of course. It looked like plastic. Uh, if you would just run around a bit till you become dry. Yeah, the movement is actually really, really good on this. Oh, you're cute. And now you're eating. A lot of animals, also the one from Frontiers, does this where part of them disappear when they eat up here. So that isn't an issue. It seems like the fur becomes more fluffy now, so we can compare. And it's I, I think it's actually the same model. Maybe it's a bit more fluffy than the adult. Now you are almost grown up. Now you are 0 0.3 years old. And that was the adult. So if you have... I think they have, have gradual uh, aging because I'm pretty sure it was smaller before I started filming so maybe I just talked too long and it became more adult so but it seems a bit more fluffy but otherwise it's the same animal and we did see it move so so all I have left for you to say is actually that uh, I really hope you learned something here and uh, maybe help you pick a new very cute little mud here and uh, you know the drill, like, subscribe and turn on the below notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!